Right, a little recap. Uh, ordered some post terminals and a new bra uh, fuse from Amazon um, to go with the second battery. So we've now got two under lamp hours. I'll drop a link below where you can buy these really cheap batteries. Fantastic. I ran my living room for about three days off that battery while I was waiting for this one to turn up. Um, 100 lamp hours, fraction bigger than my hand compared to the batteries that were in here. These are 110 amp hours, and one of those new batteries lasted two and a bit times longer than that. Than both of these. I had both of these in parallel, 220 amp hours, and this one battery lasted longer. So we've got the new 125 amp uh, breaker there. Got a couple of spare, uh, sorry, fuses. Got a couple of spare fuses. Four gauge wire. Go into the inverter, which comes off. I think that's eight gauge. To the charge controller. Let's have a look. Cloudy day today. Again, thirteen point four amps coming in from our hundred watt array. Sixty six volts at the moment. A bit low. Again, it's cloudy. Um, thermostat control switch cuts off at twenty. 3 volts, there's a temperature sensor, we'll boost that up to my body heat to 25 and then that fan kicks in and again when it drops to about 23, the fan kicks off again uh, out the inverter, goes into kilowatt hour meter with a trip switch um, which goes to the socket which goes to the house what meter there so I can see what I'm using. I'm not currently not using anything. I oh, know I've turned that off. I'm not using anything at the moment in the house because I've turned that off with the app. I should really turn it back on. Um, breaker for the panels. Breaker there for the charge controller. Sorry for the shaky camera work. But yeah, I've got 200 amp hours now, which is probably the equivalent to four and a bit of these. <laughs> um, good batteries great batteries fantastic oh, I'm in love with these things so yeah I bought the, uh, the battery post terminals on here so I could use my existing term terminals I mean you might not rate these people probably moan that I'm using them there's another one there so there's, there's two I don't need um, jumper cables keeping it 12 volt making it 200 amps um, plus coming off this battery, negative off that battery. Junk all over my desk, because we don't use this space anymore. Uh, all the radios are in the house. This is now just a solar shed. Uh, soon I'm going to take all this out and, that, and put it in a box so it's transportable. Right, that's the batteries, the battery bank, sorry. That's the, that side of stuff. I won't show you the solar panels because we've seen them before. And now with the magic of Bluetooth, we'll get into the batteries. Oh, I've got battery one. Um, now I've just worked out how to do this. No, it still thinks I'm connected from earlier. Right. I've got battery one and battery two. Go to the battery two, which is the new one I got a few days ago. Alright, here we go, 99%, 1.27 amps, 6, 0.6 amps coming out, nothing coming out, right, nothing coming out of that at the moment, 99%, 13.4, if you can see there, 13.4 volts, let's check the cells, 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, so all the cells are labbly jubbly, uh, it's, I will go to battery number one, which is the older one, I've had it a couple of weeks longer, and that's on got five volts coming in. Five amps, sorry, five amps coming in. It's ninety nine percent full. Well, that says hundred percent there. Um, three point five, three point four eight, three These have got a balance. So there we go, constantly balancing, so they'll all equal out. So that's basically fully charged. Battery number one. Go back. Thirteen point. 
for two. So they're constantly fluctuating as the BMS is constantly balancing it all out. All right, so now we're going to, while we're doing screen record, Victron inverter. All that stuff on the screen. 13.57 is the actual battery bank. Open up the inverter. Turn on. There you go. Ooh, it's just gone clunk. There you go. We are now producing power into the house. Currently drawing 28 watts from the house. Looking at the watt meter next to me. Again, battery 2, 99%. 13.45, battery number one is 13.44, 100%. How do we stop this? There it is, that one. There we go, I was going to put one of these in, in the car, I still might, unless I can get another one. Um, I only want about 50 amp hours in the car, really, just to run lights and a radio. Um, I've been camping, so there's the two new batteries. Uh, can't remember what they are now with a discount 213 pounds or something. They're about half the price of normal batteries. Plus, these have got Bluetooth, a lot of them for 600 pounds haven't got Bluetooth. There's some more info there. That's the solar side of stuff. I'm gonna go in and make a brew. I've been out here for about an hour. Quickly run down a uh, 40 amp hour MPPT charge controller. There's the MT50 display for the controller. That also lights up. Featuring 800 watt pure sine wave, peaks at 1500 watts. There's the Bluetooth dongle for it. Kilowatt hour meter, 29.9 uh, kilowatt hours I've used in the house. Again, we only ever run a lamp and a laptop, charge a handheld radio, battery banks, USB. Don't use a lot of power. It's just there for a power cut. We can just, the system's already running. We'd have to come out and start a generator. Kilowatt hour meter, here we go. The laptop, handheld radio. I think the lights come on wherever we set it. Where we set the inverter, so that's how much we're pulling and from the house at the moment. Yeah, that's my little update. Basically, everything's the same, but I've got this new bad boy of a breaker there um, it's the one up from a mega fuse so the list of fuses you've got blade fuse at the bottom so glass fuse blade fuse they all go up different fuses then there's mega fuse then there's this fuse a n l i think it was is um i was using that one beforehand but I don't like these because I had one before that just overheated, it didn't actually trip. And then when I tried to trip it, it wouldn't because it started to melt. So it's the current going through and it was unable to trip because the plastic had heated up so much it wouldn't trip. And that was a 60 or 25 amp one. So yeah, we're not gonna, I mean, while that's working, I'm taking it out and I have one of those other board spares. Right, that's my update. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side. Four 100 watt panels and a rainwater collector.